You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. A blessed morning and a pleasant day to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rest upon you today in Jesus' name. For today's meditation, we shall be considering the topic, Why Do We Forget God? And the text is Psalm 106, verses 13 and 14, saying, But they soon forgot what he had done and did not wait for his plan to unfold. In the desert, they gave in to their craving. In the wilderness, they put God to the test. Hallelujah. One of the primary reasons why many willfully forget about God is the guilt of sin. Their guilty conscience drives them to try to push God out of their consciousness. They don't want to think about God's will and the fact of the coming judgment. Rather, they want to live as they want, craving the pleasures of the flesh and the pleasures of this life as indicated in today's text. One of the first consequences of Adam's sin was a sense of guilt and shame. He became aware of his guilt in losing his innocence and went into hiding. Men are no different today. When the sting of their conscience urges them to repent, they choose to ignore and silence their conscience by avoiding the Bible, the church, and all other influences in their lives that would otherwise make them feel guilty about their sin. In Romans chapter 1, Paul tells us that this was the case with the ancient world. They had moved away from God, shutting him out of their hearts, lives, and consciences. According to verse 18, they hold the truth in unrighteousness. To hold the truth in unrighteousness means to suppress the truth. They didn't want the truth, so they tried to remove it from their minds and consciousness. That's what a guilty conscience we often do. Sometimes we forget God because of plain old worldliness. The glitter and glamour of this world are powerful temptations, and many of us have a difficult time looking beyond them. The Bible sternly warns in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, saying, Love not the world neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The world is a big distraction, and worldliness is consuming many in the church today. It is one of the single greatest enemies robbing churches of their dedication, zeal, and consecration to the Lord. Even the church's influence and salvation are being robbed many times by worldliness. In the modern church, God has become a God of convenience and nothing more than a relic to which we pay lip service. Take away people's riches and possessions, and suddenly they begin to wonder where God went. They often start looking for Him in those times of turmoil and desperation. Beloved of God, where have you forgotten God? Why are you forgetting Him? Why are you leaving him out of your life and giving in to your selfish cravings? It is never a wise decision to forget God, for when we do, we miss his ultimate and eternal plan for our lives. I pray for you today. May the light of God shine upon your dark conscience in Jesus' name. The Lord will deliver you from every guilt of sin. He will vindicate and restore you. May you not forget God. May you never miss his plan for your life. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day. Christ is the answer.
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.